It's said that the sand from the Sahara Desert can travel thousands of miles carried by the wind. But people are not so easily moved. In the isolated Algerian desert, scattered across five camps, are the stranded and largely forgotten, refugees from the last African colony, Western Sahara. Their name, Sarahawi, means people of the Sahara Desert. For decades, the Saharawi have been in limbo, without a country, locked in place and shut off from the outside world. So they bring the world to them. They invite artists and foreigners and turn their desert into a movie theater. For the Sahara Film Festival. Movie-filled nights under the African sky. They sing songs in protest of the thousand-mile wall between them and their homeland and families. The beauty of the desert, the beauty we carry inside, is the faith we have in God. God didn't make the desert just because. It's for something, to have us here as refugees, even if, even if it's hard. Melanin belongs to an entire generation born and raised in the camps. In the 1970s, Spain abandoned its former colony. Morocco invaded and a war ensued with independence fighters, the Polisario Front. A UN-brokered ceasefire came with the promise that the Saharawi would vote on their future, become part of Morocco or an independent nation. That was 18 years ago, and still no vote. Well, yes, sometimes we wonder, but God is the one who controls everything, who decides everything. The people may forget about us, but God will never forget about us. And so the war continues, not with bullets, but with culture and words, to remind the world that they still wait. To visit the Sahrawi is to be shown, insisted, and demonstrated that they are a people, and they do it mostly over tea, three teas to be exact. This is one of the main course in the Sahrawi hospitalities. The first tea, bitter, like life. The second, sweet, like love. And the third, smooth, like death. Lassen Borset says the way they serve tea is only one of many things that sets apart the Sahrawi culture from Moroccan culture. Morocco argues that the Western Sahara is part of its historical kingdom and that the Sahrawi, with their nomadic culture, are easily Moroccan. It's a claim not recognized in the international arena and in isolated nomads' tents. There are no tribes anymore. We're now one tribe. Since the war started, we became one tribe fighting for our country. One force defending their country. One tribe who live and die for the cause of their country. For now, her cause and those of her people is left for the desert winds deep in the Sahara. For Time.com, I'm Michelle Garcia.